Mr. Beast was just offered a billion dollars for his brand. I don't know all the details of the offer, obviously. I don't even know who made the offer, but it's obviously a massive opportunity for Mr. Beast. The question is, when it comes to that billion dollar offer, was it just for his YouTube channels or his other ventures? Because he has multiple other ventures, including a chocolate company, he's got Mr. Beast Burgers, he's also got Backbone, he's got, I think, one or two other things that he started as well. And all of those he's able to monetize quickly because all the attention that he's able to gain from his YouTube channel and the following that he's created. He has almost 100 million followers across his channels and he's had, I believe it's somewhere north of 13 billion views on his videos. And he frankly is hands down the best on YouTube at being able to go viral consistently. If you were gonna look and they talk about cracking the algorithm and unlocking the keys to being able to create viral videos, he has it down to a science. The reason why he has it down to a science is because he studied YouTube and he took time to actually learn and look at what what's actually working, what's not. And he found down to literally when they need to transition into something else and the storytelling needs to change or when they need to shock and awe, at what point in the videos do drop offs happen so that they need to change and go a different storyline or add a new character in or do something crazy. He has spent the time to do that. The question is that people are really having is like, why in the world would he pass up a billion dollars? Multiple other people have added to this or commented on this, but I think there's some lessons here that are really important. Number one is I don't believe a billion dollars is worth it for him based on his desire to continue to produce content as well as the actual business opportunities of his brands. The brands are, it's endless. He he is a movie star. If you were gonna think of a movie star, he is a movie star. He just happens to be on a different platform and he utilizes YouTube and others. What's fascinating is that his relationship with YouTube is mutually beneficial because he keeps bringing more and more people onto the app, which makes them more ad revenue. His ad revenue is just a small piece of what he can make, but I believe he's somewhere in the three to five million or north of that per month just from ad revenue on what he's making, which is absurd. But if you know anything about Mr. Beast, he is truly a master of his craft. He really loves to make new content, new videos, and that's something that drives him. And so he'll spend a ton of money and break even on his videos because he loves to do it. And so someone like that is really hard to buy. And someone like that is also really hard to beat because this type of person that Mr. Beast is, he has spent the time and the effort to learn exactly how to master his craft. And then not only has he learn that, but he's executed on it. So high level learning and watching and then high level execution is what's led Mr. Beast to having the most popular channel on YouTube. But what's more important is the fact that after that, he's using his reach to do some really cool things, right? If you watch a lot of his videos, he gives a lot of money away. He does a lot of really cool things. But more importantly, he's used those to also build other business ventures that allows him to employ more people and not just grow his brand, but also reach more people and solve problems in the world. There have been comments about how 10 billion isn't enough. Uh, I believe he even said it. And that probably is true. I bet that if you took everything together and you looked at the trajectory of where he's going to go, he's going to make a lot of money, a ton of money. I think his brand will probably be worth closer to 25, $30 billion in the next two or three years based on what he's doing. And the opportunities are endless for him. He is a celebrity and he is just like anyone else, like a Brad Pitt back in the day or Chris Pratt, someone like that. Like people know him, they recognize him, they see him. And there are people all around the world that consume his content. What's the lesson here for you as a business owner when you're thinking about this? Well, to be frank, I actually think that this is one of those things where it's really not worth looking at the number or the size of what he's doing. We have to scale it back and we have to look at what are the steps that got him to that point. If you're a gym owner or a small business owner, your chances of growing a brand in that big are pretty slim unless you want to spend the time to go and do that. Most of the time though, if we reverse engineer his action steps and what took it, the things are very simple. It's what every successful entrepreneur has done, and that is they have studied their niche. They have studied their industry. They have studied what works and what doesn't. They have spent time understanding human behavior. And the best part is Mr. Beast doesn't try to buck the system. He understands the game he's trying to play. The game he's trying to play is to increase subscribers and increase views. That is the game. And so understanding that, once he realized what game he was playing, he then went to figure out what are the rules of the game. So he went and watched high-performing viral videos on YouTube. He learned what the algorithm was actually trying trying to push, then he went and tested it. And then he honed his skills so that he knew the rules of the game and what he could do within those rules to be able to maximize his reach, his views, and his subscribers. And then he went out and executed at a high level. But if you listen to his story, I believe at one point he talked about how he took a long time just watching YouTube and just trying to figure out what things actually work online. And then he went out and actually did it. And so the lesson for any business owner out there is to truly be a master and really understand your business. 
And then the next piece is to understand, don't try to buck the system or try to do something contrary to human behavior. Just take and understand the game that you're playing, learn the rules of it, and then be able to execute on those rules of the game to the best of your ability and go all in. An example of this would be like, if you're a gym owner and you're watching this and you're thinking, well, what are the rules to my game? Well, in the gym business, you're still a business. So the rules of that game that you're playing is still revenue and profit. That's it. You're trying to increase revenue, increase your profit. You might be thinking, well, I want to change more lives and I want to coach people and do all this stuff. Of course, absolutely. But if you don't have profit and you don't have revenue and you're not able to consistently grow that, you're not going to be able to go out there and reach more people and change more lives. Knowing that, knowing the game, now we need to understand the rules of the game. The rules of the game, very simply, if you want to get more people inside of your gym, is that human behavior will show that people want to look better naked. So give them that. But in the meantime, once you get them in the door by selling them what they want, I want to look better naked, give them a simple way to be able to do that, lose weight, feel better, all these things that will allow them to fit in their clothes, look better naked, feel more confident walking down the street, get more dates, you name it, right? All these different things that everyone's problems are, but they all come back to the very simple thing that they just want to look better, sell them that, and then give them what they need, which is more long-term sustainable behavior change, which is what happens. Too many times I see gym owners flipping it and doing behavior change on the front end, which is not sexy. No one wants to be thinking about working out for years and years and years. No one cares about counting your macros or doing any of that until they realize that they can get results from it. Get them results first, sell them what they want, wrapped in what they need, and then you will be able to have a captive audience and be able to continually grow and scale your business. So it's a pretty cool opportunity and it's really amazing what's happening within the industry in and of itself. But the lessons to learn are really just master your craft, understand the game that you're playing, learn the rules of the game that you're playing, and then exploit those rules to your advantage in an ethical way. And if you can do that, then you can learn from Mr. Beast and be able to consistently scale your business, reach more people, change more lives, and stack more cash. If you like this information, you find it interesting, we've got a lot of videos that are way more tactical than this. This is just more of an opinion piece talking about this opportunity. If you want to subscribe, there's a subscribe button down there. You can like the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Mr. Beast's offer. Would you have taken it or not?